what's your baseball philosophy? What got you so far? Um, I think probably teammates and things. Um, a lot of times this game gets so frustrating for a lot of us, and I think coming out here and, and enjoying being around teammates and like having a good time, I think that's the biggest part of being successful. I struggle with it as a person, but I'm working to try to to try to be a better teammate, to try to have fun out here, joke around all next, and get pretty serious in this game. And I think I think that's going to hurt you in the long run if you're not out here having fun. Now the guys that are drafted in the highest round, sometimes they make it to the major league, sometimes they don't. Sometimes they get passed up in the minor leagues by guys drafted in the 50th round. Why right. does that happen? It's a good question. Um, I think it's, it's it's part of human nature, you know. Some guys, some guys it clicks for them in pro ball. Some guys, you know, maybe didn't get a lot out of themselves in college, and then all of a sudden, you know, they're they get in the business aspect of it, and they they get better instruction from a lot of guys in the professional ball. Some guys, it, some guys, it clicks. It clicks for different, different guys at different times, and that's just that's the way baseball is. That's me training. They're always bringing in guys to compete for your spot. How do you approach that? Um, I don't think it's so much you stress out about it. Um, like I said, there's a there's a plan for everybody in life. You know, there's everybody's got a certain path that that they're going to take. I think if you approach it as somebody's trying to take your job, it takes the fun out of the game. Like I said, that you only get X amount of years uh, to play in baseball. And I think uh, I think for the most part, if you stick to having fun in this game, good things will happen. Is there a time so far in your career you wanted to quit baseball? I don't think there's been a time where I've quit. I mean, everybody gets frustrated. Everybody everybody says, "Oh, you know, I should maybe I should hang them up," you know, joking around. Um, it's definitely a frustrating game, but what you have to remember is that if you approach the game with the fun aspect of it, and you approach the game as, okay, I'm, I've been given a great opportunity here, um, I think you're going to save yourself a lot of stress in the game. And I think uh, for me, that's it's just a constant struggle for me, and I know it is for a lot of guys that play. So I'm, I'm trying to have fun and enjoy being around being around teammates because sooner or later down the road it ends for everybody and then you have to go do what everybody else does in the world, you know, a normal job. So I think uh, approach the game with a good attitude and have a great time and I think uh, in the end you'll be happy with what you did as a player. You read the scouting reports, what Baseball America writes about you, where they, they rank you and all that? I don't even pay any attention to it. I haven't even picked up one of those in years. So honestly, anybody tell you or family call you? Or? No. I don't pay too much attention. Like I said, I don't. Uh, I don't play for the satisfaction of people thinking I'm just going to be something, or I don't play for scout reports. I play because there's every, everything I know is baseball. All the people I know and all the friendships I've made over the years. Uh, that's what I pay attention to. That's what I try to hang on to. What would you tell a high school kid about professional baseball that you learned the hard way that nobody told you about? Well, I mean, truthfully, there's not a whole lot that can prepare you for professional baseball and, and understanding that it's a business aspect. Once you get to this level, I mean, certain things happen to certain guys, guys get released, it's part of the game. And I don't think there's one thing that you can tell somebody to prepare them for what, what happens when you get into professional baseball. It's, it's kind of a deal where you have to learn as you go and, and understand that it is a business now. And I'm a, I understand that and everybody understands that. Um, there's really not a whole lot you can do to prepare for it. All you can do is, is work hard. Hope that uh, baseball's good to you in the end.